Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliva. Today we will start a problem where we will convert the PV diagram to the PT diagram. Before starting the problem, I will request you to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. You will get different problems in every day. Okay, you will get different problems, numericals from physics and you will get it regular basis. So, we will start now. Here you can see a PV diagram is given, right? And from here we will collect some information and according to this we will draw the PT diagram. So, at first we can see the line BC where the volume is increasing and the pressure is constant. So, here the pressure is constant for the line BC. I am telling about this line BC where the volume is increasing and the pressure is constant. Okay. We know from gas equation PV is equals to NRT. Here P is constant, NR is constant and V is increasing. That means T should increase. So, we can write T will increase. Okay. Now, come to the second line. The second line is this one. This line CD. Where the pressure is decreasing. Pressure is decreasing and volume is increasing. Right? Pressure is decreasing and volume is increasing. And for the third one, we can say this line. DA, the volume is decreasing and the pressure is constant. So, for DA, the volume is decreasing and the pressure is constant. Right? We know PV is equals to NRT. So, P constant, NR constant, V is decreasing. That means T will decrease. So, we will write it T is decreasing. Okay? Now from fourth one, this line AB, volume is constant and the pressure is increasing, right? So PV is equals to NRT where the pressure, volume is constant, NR constant, pressure is increasing. So T will increase, right? Here we can write PV for CD. PV is equals to NRT. Here v, P is decreasing and V is increasing. Right? We can see this. Now, with the help of this information, we will draw the PT diagram. Now we will draw this PT diagram. We have written the information in this picture. Okay. We have written this information here. So, we will start with BC. In BC, we can see the pressure is constant and temperature is increasing. Pressure is constant and temperature increasing. So, this is BC. Now, we will come AB. For AB, pressure increases and temperature also increases. Pressure increases and temperature also increases. Right? So, that means pressure is increasing and temperature also increasing. So, pressure is proportional to temperature. That means P is equals to CT like this. So, it's a straight line passing through origin. So, it's like this straight line passing through origin. This is AB. Pressure increasing and temperature also increasing. Then now come to the line A, uh, DA where pressure constant, temperature decreases. Pressure constant and temperature decreases. And from this part we can say that this or this can be the right answer. So, now uh, we will see this CD. P decreases and volume increases. P here decreases and volume increases. 
So PV is equals to NRT. From this we can write P is inversely proportional V. So PV is equals to constant. That means it was a hyperbola. We can see this is a hyperbola. Right. So here is PV is a constant. So we know N and R are constant. So T must be a constant. Right. So here P decreases and T constant. So the graph should be like this. So option 1 is the correct answer. Now you can say why this is not correct. This is not correct because from option 2, the CD is P by T is constant. If P by T is constant, then from ideal gas equation, we know PV is equals to NRT. And if P by T is equals to NR by V, if P by T, if PT is a straight line, then P by T is a constant. Then NR by V should be constant, but V is not a constant. V is increasing, right? So this cannot happen. So this is the correct option. Where PV is constant, that means T is also constant. So option 1 is the right answer. I hope you can understand this. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.